Okay, so uh, I just saw the first alien, uh, which is right here. Um, so I'm going to try and see whether I can go for a go for a shot with my sniper. And that's another thing. Um, you can actually alternate between snap snapshot, normal shot, or aim shot. Uh, depending on the, the the weapon that your soldier is carrying. So in this case, I'm using my sniper. And I'm going to do an aim shot with this uh, with this soldier, and hopefully he gets. And maybe I'll crouch him as well. Get him to crouch. Yeah. So crouching, uh, you know, is good for you know, provides a bonus to your. Yeah, it lowers your soldier's profile and also uh, increases his aim as well. Okay. So he missed. And okay, can I do a do a snapshot? But um So let's try and do a normal shot. And we got it. We, we hit him. <laughs> um, now I'm not sure what this alien is called um, because I've only encountered the civilian so far. But let's get more soldiers to close in. And uh, the alien just took a reaction shot. Okay. And we missed. Now the music is... Uh, it's fairly good, I think. Um, now, by the way, you know, Goho Interactive is not a, you know, they're an indie company, so they're not a, it's not a triple A company with millions and millions of dollars at its dis disposal. So, um, yeah, so, so you definitely can't, you know, expect like a triple A sort of quality, but for what they've done with the limited resources, I think it's fairly, uh, it's commendable. I think the music and the graphics are, you know, I think it's rather good. Um, and for some reason I can't target this alien. Uh, maybe it's blocked. By the way, you can also toggle between uh, single fire or burst fire. So, oh, okay, not enough time units, but <laughs> um, okay. So it's step. So you know, definitely uh, in terms of the. Gameplay, gameplay mechanics. It's definitely very, very, ac uh, very similar, very accurate to um, to the original XCOM. Okay, so we'll end the turn. Oh, and he killed one of mine. <laughs> And 
payback. <laughs> okay, so we just killed an alien. So I think that you know that's a fairly good. Um, you know, it's a fairly good uh, you know uh, example of what combat is like in this game. So I'll just kill this alien, and then I will cut back to because um, I want to show you how the air combat works. So let's kill this alien first. And we'll do a... Oh, we missed, but... Okay, so I'll just show you... Um, See, if we want to do burst, burst fire, we need um, we need quite a number of time units. Oh, still can't do it. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do single fire, and it's blocked. And we got a hit, but it didn't kill the alien. Now, can we get him with a, a sniper? No, he's um, blocked by line of sight. Let's move him forward. See whether that improves our... No, it's blocked as well. There we go. So I do a try and take a shot with my machine gunner, but it's obviously too far. Um, so we'll end the turn. Yeah, it's definitely uh, you know the ground combat can be quite um, deadly. Um, and by the way, you know, when your soldiers die, they die for, for good, they don't come back, so... Um, so let's do burst fire on this guy. Yep, so that kills him. Okay, so um, so I will cut back and I will show you how the air combat works. And uh, one other thing that I thought I might mention is that just like the just like the original XCOM, uh, if you move your soldier over, you know, to, to where the uh, where a dead alien is, and then you click on the ground uh, the backpack, um, then you can actually uh, you know pick up. Yeah, he's run out of time units, but you can actually pick up you know, alien weapons and uh, even their bodies. Okay, so this is the Kazian, Kazan. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can pick them up from the ground and put it in your backpack or put it in your hand or whatever, as long as it's as, as long as it fits. Um, so that's a, I think that's ammunition for the plasma rifle. Um, so one th one other thing that I like about the uh, uh, soldier inventory uh, is that uh, just let me heal this uh, heal this guy first. Yeah, I, I like it how you can actually uh, easily just put things back and forth between your backpack. So let's say 
let's say you want to move your medikit to your hand um, you can just drag it and then it will swap the uh, position you know, whatever is in your hand uh, back to into the backpack so that makes it easier you don't have to drag things back and forth you can just you know so I think I think that's a good system um, actually what I thought I might do is um, since you know the alien egg the alien uh, vessel is just right here and I've got three soldiers um, coming up um, I thought what I might do is I'll just uh, you know show you guys the uh, you know <laughs> how this mission plays out um, so if, see if you want to open a door you just click on the door there's there'll be a like an open door icon okay so you right click and there's one alien sitting in there Okay, <laughs> so that was a mission successful. Um, now, yeah, I, I know you know I could have done better, but you know this is just a review, so I'm not I'm not employing too much too much tactics into you know in how I send my soldiers around in in ground combat. So um, yeah, so he's earned a medal, Crimson Heart, uh, awarded for suffering a serious wound in the service of humanity. <laughs> So that's uh that's a good uh I think uh, that's that's pretty good you know you, there's definitely that sort of like a role playing element in this game you know your soldiers uh you know increase in their abilities you know their their stats their statistics increase and they they um they earn medals um, <coughs> and uh one other thing is also um, unlike the original XCOM or even the the new XCOM by Fire Axes. Uh, when you recover a alien corpse, they are, you know, they're destroyed at the end of the mission. You know, you do not have to, you know, go and sell, you know, all except one of the alien corpses um, just to do research on it. Um, so you actually will be able to conduct research on it without having to keep uh, any of the alien corpses in your base. So you only recover the things that are actually useful. Uh, so, you, so yeah, so that's a, that's that's nice, I think. Um, okay. So now we can. Uh, so we'll wait for the uh, uh, high-speed interceptor to finish finish research. And uh, I think I'll mention another th another thing as well. Um, you can actually play this game uh, using the using the keyboard. Um, so if you go to the game options, uh, there's all these uh, you know settings, and uh, so you can actually you know there's a lot of yeah W W A S D. I think that's you know to scroll up, down, left, right, and uh, so yeah there's a, there's commands for quite a, quite a lot of things. So if you're if you feel like playing the game with a keyboard, um, you can do that. But um, but I personally play <laughs> I personally play games with a mouse because um, because that's how I played the original XCOM. You know, it was more it was very much mouse driven. But um, but yeah, but the option is there if you want to play this game using the keyboard. So yeah, I, I like that. It gives you that uh, flexibility and we'll fast forward the time okay so let's have a look at the Kazian autopsy a Kazian is a humanoid alien that stands approximately 170 cent centimeters I imagine these share surprises that they resemble humanity so closely um, so you know I think the uh, artists have done a pretty uh, pretty good job even though on the ground combat they they don't look very um it doesn't look very doesn't look that good i don't think um but you know they've definitely made it look very um detailed and very unique uh, in the xenopedia so here that's what that's what i 
that's what I was talking about when I said that uh, the Xenopedia entries are actually worth reading because um, it actually tells you that they're physically weaker and less hardy. Um, okay, so it tells you that they've got a, a, a corons uh, corresponding increase in brain tissue. So they can actually communicate. Oh, actually, <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> the vocal cords are atrophied to the point where verbal communication will be impossible. Okay, so that actually points to maybe a telep telepathic link. So maybe the uh, maybe the uh, aliens of this type actually communicate with each other telepath telepathically. Um, yeah. So it actually does tell you you know, quite, quite a number of interesting things about, you know, aliens that you research. So, um, so with this game, you know, I think if you're the kind of person that sort of skips, uh, you know, reading uh, entries in the, you know, in, in the research, um, you know, in other similar games, XCOM remakes or, you know, similar clones or spin-offs, um, with Xenonauts, I think you, you definitely want to read, you know, the research uh, text because I think quite a quite a number of them actually provide you with um, important information that you'll need to combat the aliens. And uh, the Light Scout. Um, okay, I have not encountered a Light Scout yet, but you know, anyway, the research entry has come in. So let's hopefully we can wait for a you know in alien aircraft to come along. Okay. So we've just researched a new uh, high-speed interceptor, the MiG-32 Foxtrot. Um, so this is basically a, a faster, you know, like a can carry a bigger uh, missile loadout. But it does have some disadvantages and weaknesses as well. So, for example, you cannot equip a cannon, and it is not it is uh, not capable of doing evasive roll compared to the uh, Condor. Okay, let's do research on alien alloys. And uh, you can actually construct okay so we just construct one fox shot interceptor it's unusual we still haven't encountered uh, any aliens yet I mean sorry any alien aircraft okay here we go so let's send out a uh, send out interceptors. So you can actually send uh, two at the at the same time. Okay. So this is a light scout, and uh, you do have the option of auto resolving, and it does tell you what are the percentages of um, of you winning. You can you can uh, tail the target, or you can tail it until it's over land. So let's go ahead go ahead and hit engage. And this is one of the things that I like about this game is that the uh, you know the aircraft combat system is very different and it's it's more hands on and uh, more uh, I guess in a way it's more yeah there's there's it's more exciting. Um, because, yeah, so that's just some tooltip. So right now the air combat is paused, so you can hit space to resume, but um, basically you can individually uh, control, you know, the aircraft. You can, uh, you can assign the speed, um, so I think that's the speed, uh, how fast you want the interceptor to go, I think. Uh, it doesn't 
yeah <laughs> I actually um, yeah when I first started up this game I just went ahead and, and tried to play it without reading the manual uh, and, and I just uh, you know try to learn everything as I go so I think this is the uh, you know you can control the speed at which they fly um, and here you've got the afterburner so you can yeah, give it a 50% increase in the speed top speed um, but it does consume three times the amount of fuel and you can do an evasive roll which the, uh, which the Condor can do but the Foxtrot uh, high speed interceptor cannot um, so you can actually so this is more uh, yeah so that's why I say you know you control it's more in the control of your hands you know you control what weapons are online or offline and so let's I'll just show you what, it, what that feels like and uh, another thing that you can do is um, you can tell individual aircraft to okay. you can tell them to go you know, control them individually and then yeah so you so there's a lot of tactics you need tactics that you can employ like let's say you might send one aircraft to uh, to let the alien aircraft chase it and then the other aircraft you can turn them around and attack the alien aircraft from the from the rear Actually, I might do that. <laughs> See how it goes. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's hit the afterburner. too good um, <laughs> okay so let's hit the afterburner okay <laughs> so we uh, so as you can see the uh, aircraft interception is definitely a lot more um, intense and more hands-on than uh, the original XCOM or even the uh, the new XCOM by Fire Axis. So I definitely like this game for that. Um, and uh, so this, you know, I definitely do think that the uh, Goho Interactive, they created this game out of love for the original XCOM and they wanted to uh, create a game that, you know, is, is modern, um, but at the same time very mechanically faithful to the original XCOM. Uh, as opposed to the uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown by Fire Axis, which sort of overhauled or streamlined or you know changed a lot of things. Now, personally, I like both uh, because I think both of both um, XCOM Enemy Unknown and Xenonauts have their own merit merits. Um, you know, there is definitely you know something uh, some unique uh, things about both. Uh, so I, I play I play both games. Um, so for those of you who are you know, who want something that's that resembles the original XCOM back in '93 or '94, <laughs> um, yeah, it's been so, so long ago I can't remember exactly what you know what year it was. Um, but for those of you who long for that um, you know old school sort of like feel to you know like a you know turn-based strategy game and uh, real-time geoscape uh, management you know Xenonauts is definitely the one that you want to, to play um, so I hope that you guys have um, you know just got a good taste of what this game has to offer uh, like I said I haven't completed this game yet because the game you know I only just started playing you know I think the other day 
and I've only clocked in maybe three hours of it, three or four hours. Um, but I, I think I've managed to show you quite a lot of what this game has to offer. And uh, so another thing that you, is that you can have multiple bases. Um, yeah, so um, so ev eventually you can actually build a new base. Um, but as to how you can do that, I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can definitely have multiple bases, just like the original XCOM, as opposed to the uh, the the only uh, the one base in the XCOM Enemy Unknown by Fire Axes. And there is also base uh, invasions in this game. So you, you know if you're you know taking down the aliens, you know that you know if you're holding holding back their progress, um, they may you know look for your base and then they decide to attack it. Um, do a death death blow to you. Um, ah, there you go. Build new base. Insufficient funds. Okay. Okay. So. Um, okay. So hope hope you found this uh, review helpful and useful. Um, so I'll put a link in the descri description uh, so that takes you to the uh, uh, the game's website where you can buy the game. Uh, so this game has, uh, you know, the, the final, this is the final game, so when you buy the game, you will be playing the final game, but, um, but yeah, like I said, it will be another two weeks or so before the game actually officially launches. Um, so it's, it's up to you whether you want to play it now, you know, or you can buy it later on when it officially launches. Um, so yeah, hope hope this uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you can, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the section below. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel, and also please share this video. Uh, so also, I will be doing a let's play of this game uh, in the coming. Yeah, I'm not sure when I will do it, but I, I will do it very soon. Uh, in fact, I might I might actually do it after this. Um, you know. I might actually start this uh, let's play, you know, very soon. So, so hopefully I'll, I can get to that. So I look forward to seeing you guys. I uh, hope that you will be able to join me um, in the let's play videos of this game. So once again, this is Fine Gaming Connoisseur, and I'll I'll see you in the next one. Take care.